On the exhalation, come to the side, bring your hand down on the brick. Lift the left heel up, level with your right hip, and lift up through your leg. Move your leg back a little bit. So sit in Sukhasana. Cross right at the center of the shin bone. Release the outer thighs down. And lengthen from the top sacrum. Bring the top sacrum in and upward. Roll the inner upper arm back to broaden the chest and the collarbone. Keep the eyes in neutral. Keep the side of the neck long. And maintain the upright position. Fold your palms together to your heart center. Right at the sternum region, it is a spiritual heart center. And the palms together, it's called Atmanjali Mudra. Atman, it means the soul. Right at the seat of the soul. Maintain the side trunk length. Close your eyes from the top to the bottom. And smooth, steady through the inhalation, through the nose. Smooth and steady with your exhalation, quieting the brain cells. From this quietness, we're going to begin the practice with three Om together. An invocation to Patanjali, the father of yoga, that brought us three clarity. The clarity of health with Ayurveda. The clarity of communication through Sanskrit language and the clarity of the consciousness through the yoga practice. Chittasya padena vasham Malam shalilasya shavaita gena Yo pa karotam pavaram muninam Patan jalim pran jalilana tosmi Abahu purusha karam Changka chakra sidharinam Sahasra shirasam svetam Pranamami patanjalim Hari With your heart well lift, bow your head down to your heart. Release your hand down to your thighs. Remain the broadness of the heart and the chest well open. Slowly bring your head back to center and open your eyes. Good afternoon. We begin with Parvatasana, so changing your leg crossing. So that you're sitting cross leg, release the arch of your foot. Use your hand to the arch of your foot. Release down. And we'll roll the calf forward and spreading the back of the thighs. So that cross right at the center of the shin bone. 
and see that equanimity of your thighs. So Rosa, you see your left knee is lower. You bring your foot, the right foot a little bit more forward and keep this neutral. Yeah. Now interlock the finger, draw your thumbs together, stretch your palms forward. And when your thumbs touching, stretch through your palms, relax the shoulders and inhale, reach up through the arms. Pavatasana means mountain pose. The base of the mountain release down, which is the part of the thighs down. Balance on both sitting bone and reach up through your arms. Extend the arms upward. Lift the shin up, lift the chest up. And now look up towards your hand, lift the sternum towards your hand to lift up your arms further. And exhale, bring your head back to center. Remain the armpit open and exhale, release your hand. Chain index finger hooking and then stretch your palms forward. Inhale, raise your arms up. After you look up the first one, see that without looking up at the moment, lengthen the side trunk and stretch your arms up. And now we're going to do a few pumping, bend the elbow. Relax the inner shoulders and inhale, stretch up through the arms, extend from the inner arm. One more time, inhale the breath, exhale, stretch your arms up and lengthen. And now look up towards your hand, open up your palms, stretch up from your thumb side and look straight forward. Now this time look down towards the center of the heart and lift from the back shoulders, release from the neck area and go up higher. And look center and release down. Chain your leg crossing. You're facing this way towards the rope wall. Chain your leg crossing. Now your left leg in the front and walk your hands forward. Adho Mukha Viras. Adho Mukha Swastikasan. Cross leg and stretch forward with the arm. Release the top of the thighs. Now, Rosa, move your right foot more forward because your right foot is further back, so that's why your left knee go down. Go forward yeah. and stretch your arm forward. Release the outer hips down. Extend from the chest and the sternum to go forward. And then walk your hands back towards your knee, chain your leg crossing. Roll the calf forward, release your thighs down. Adjust the buttocks flesh further back. If it's hanging off from the bricks, even better because that you can release the hip down and stretch forward with the arm. Extend the side trunk forward. Lengthen the sternum, go beyond the shin bone so that your arms and the trunk can lengthen. And then walk your hands towards your knee, stretch your legs forward, take the bricks to the front and come into Adho Mukha Svanasan. Spread your hands wide as your shoulder and keep your feet wide as your hip and come up to downward facing dog pose. Stretch your arms and the leg. When you spread your fingers wide, press down with the base of the knuckle, press down with your hand, and stretch the top of the thighs back. Get the side trunk long and extend. Roll the thighs in, stretch from the inside of the thighs down and back, and lengthening through your side torso. And now walk your feet forward. Spread your feet wide as your hip. To Uttanasan, press the outer foot down and raise up to the inner ankle. Release your hand on the side. Relax your neck completely. This is called Uttanasana, means intense stretch. So the back of the thighs lift up while the calf descend down to the heels. Maintain the leg firm and engage the quadricep. 
Look forward. Bring your fingertip in front. For those tighter, you can put your hands on the brick and extend the chest forward. And now bring your hands to the hip, lift the chest to come up. Okay? And facing this way. So you have two bricks here. We'll do the Uttita Trikonasana and Virabhadrasana too. So draw your feet together in the center of your mat. Tadasana, also called Sama Stihi. Sama is equanimity and steady. So first you draw your big toe together, raise your toes, raise the little toe and spread away from the big toe and press it down. When you press the outside of your foot, the outer foot down, see that your arch of your foot lift up. So the ankle is not touching. Robin, you see how your ankle touching? Press the outer foot down. Yes, yeah, so lift up through the inner ankle. Engage the quadricep firm. Shift the weight back to the heel. And maintain the leg firm. And from the top of your buttock region, descend to the middle buttock and move the center of middle buttocks forward and lift up through your side trunk. Remain the trunk lengthened, roll the inner upper arm back. Relax your fingers, but keep the firmness of the arm. Enrique, you can spread your feet slightly apart who those have scoliosis or uneven hip. So the feet apart can help to bring equanimity of your pelvis. Lift the shin up and stand tall. Samastihi. Now, Uttita Trikanasan. Bring your hand in front of the chest. Bend your leg. Step or jump your feet apart and spread the leg wide. This is Uttita Hasta Padasan. It's extension of the leg that spread. Sandra, see that your foot equal. So the outer foot, the heel and the little toe side equal. And when you stretch your arms and the leg out to the side, bring the firmness of the thighs and the quadricep and stretch your arms fully. Maintain the left leg where they are. Turn your whole right leg out to the side. Roll the root of the right thighs out and press the big toe mount down firmly. Press the outer left foot firm, lift the chest up, Uttita Trikanasan. Exhale, lengthening the torso to the side. Bring your hand down on the brick, the whole palms on the brick. Eyes maintain, lengthen forward. Your legs firm and engaging. And maintain the legs engaging, lengthen the lower part of your right ribs towards your head, so the lower trunk elongate, and stretch your arm fully. To look up, drop the right ear slightly and turn from the center of the heart to look up towards your left fingertip and reach your arm upward. Maintain the left foot pressing down and engage with your left thigh. Inhale, slowly come up. Bring your hand to the hip. Virabhadrasana 2 to releasing. Bend your right leg a few times. Straighten the right leg. So let the groin, let the hips relax. First your groin and the hips relax and now maintain the leg straight. Press the outer left foot firm. The inside of your left thigh is engaging. And now, when you bend your right leg, the knee over the ankle without losing the inside of your left thigh. So this part of the inside of the thigh lift up. When you release your right buttock further down, descend the top buttock and ascending the trunk upward. Now maintain that, stretch your arm out to the side Extend from the center of the sternum towards your fingertip and look towards your right fingertip. Reach your arm away. Inhale, look forward. 
Straighten the leg. Bring your feet parallel. Keep your foot where they are, parallel to the edge of the mat, and turn your left leg out. Roll from the root of the thighs out. And you learn to put the big toe mount, the weight into the big toe and the inner heel firmly and roll the thighs out. Maintain that Uttita Trikonasana. Stretch your arms away from each other. On the exhalation, come to the side. Bring your hand down on the brick and stretch up through the arm. So the bricks is not just to hanging to rely on the bricks, but the bricks is also a help to get extension. So draw up through your quadricep. And when you lengthen your hand away from the bricks, from the top of the sternum, stretch up to your right hand. In order for you to look up, maintain the extension, drop the left ear down slightly, and turn from the sternum, turn from the chest, and look up towards your right fingertip. Smooth and steady with your breath. And now press your feet down, engage the thigh firm, inhale slowly, come up, hand to the hip. And bend your leg, bend and release. Now the releasing of the thigh and lengthening from the groin. So the inside of your right thigh stretch fully. And now straighten. So you bring awareness to your right foot press firm. Lift the inner thighs up. And when you bend your left leg such a way that the inner thighs lengthen and the outer left thighs move to the outer right, the left hip engaging and straight with your right leg. Maintain that. Lift the side trunk up. Stretch your arm out to the side. This is called Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Remain the legs lengthen. Remain the arm extend and look towards your left fingertip. Stretch your fingers and expand from the sternum to your fingertip. And inhale, straighten the leg. Look forward. Bring your feet parallel and draw your feet together. Tadasana. Virabhadrasana, right? It's warrior, it's strong. Going to facing to the rope wall. So you put your hand, the bricks like this, for Parshvottanasana. So Rosa, put this way. So stand into the center of your mat. Bring your hands to the hip. So your right foot, Bend your leg slightly, step your right foot forward and step your left leg back. And turn your left foot out slightly, such a way that the back outer foot can press down and stretch the inside of the thigh back. The back leg, the weight, it's go to the outer left heel. So the inside of the ankle lift. The front foot, press the big toe mount in the heel and draw up through your thighs. And turn the abdomen and chest forward. Now, when you press both feet firm, push both feet away from each other and draw up from the pubic bone region, go upward. And reach your arm up. Inhale the breath. Exhale, come forward, hinge from the hip and move both buttock bone back and bring your hand down on the bricks or on the floor. Rosa, bring the hand close or the bricks closer. Now, when you bend forward to Parshvottanasana, the weight tend to go to the front leg. Bring the back leg firmly, stretch the inside of the thigh back, but don't grip the toes, relax the toe. Inhale, lift the chest up. So the back concave, the in the upper arm, go forward. And the dorsal spine, which is upper back regions, move in. On the exhalation, bend the elbow to the side and lengthening the torso down towards your right leg. So that's called Parshvottanasana. 
convex back so that you lengthening the torso towards your armpit. Release your left side torso towards your right leg while your whole side trunk elongate. Inhale, look forward. Bring your hand closer toward your foot. Bend the front leg and bring your hand on the bricks or the floor. Step forward and lift the inside of your left thighs up in half your Badrasana 3. Lift the left heel up, level with your right hip. Draw up through your quadricep, draw up through your thighs. Sandra, look forward first for a moment. So that Virabhadrasana 3. Now push the big toe mount of your left foot away. And maintain that bend the elbow to the side. Release the torso down towards your right leg. Spread the elbow to the side. This is called Urdhva Parsarita Ekapadasana. Which is one leg extend upward. Bend the front leg. Step back to Parshvotanasana. Bring your hands to the hip, lift the chest to come up. And bring your feet parallel and draw your feet together. Now facing to the rope wall again, left foot forward, right foot back. Prepare for Parshvottanasan. So have when you split the leg long distance, make sure you have an equal distance. And Rosa, bring your right foot a little bit more to the right. The back foot pressing firmly down to the ground, especially the outer foot. The front foot, press the inner foot firmly down and draw up through your thigh. Reach your arm up. On the exhalation, come forward, hinge from the hip while your sacrum, the top sacrum lengthen and bring your hand down on the floor or on the bricks and look up first. Lift the chest up. And when you look up, it's not just the part of the eyes that look up, but see if you can take from the sternum to look up and lengthen the back of the neck. Both buttock bone go back, right outer hip slightly forward, outer left hip back. So both buttock bone equally extend back. Inhale, lift the chest. On the exhalation, bend the elbow to the side and release the torso down. Parshvottanasana. When you release the torso down, bring your right torso towards your left leg and the left torso slightly up and forward. So you bring the equanimity of the trunk towards your left leg. And smooth, steady, through the in-breath, smooth and steady through the out-breath. Inhale, look forward, bend the front leg slightly and bring your hand forward and lift up through your inside of your right thighs, Virabhadrasana 3. Rosa, step back, you're too close to the wall. You cannot move your obstacle, you have to move yourself. Bring your hand forward more. It's like a tripod position. Yeah. And when you extend from the inside of your right thighs back, lift the chest forward. Draw the outside of your left hip back. Outer left ankle in, outer left shin in, and remain the inside of the right thigh stretch back fully. And we can shift back to the heel. Exhale, bend the elbow to the side and release the torso down towards the floor. You can bring your hand on the floor with those able. Just keep the hand on the floor at the moment. Stretch the top leg upward. The inside of your left thigh stretch up. While your right thigh is lengthening, the left foot press down. Exhale, bend the elbow to the side, step back to Parshvottanasana. Bring your hands in the hip, lift the chest to come up. Bring your feet parallel and draw your feet together. 
Okay. So now facing this way. So you have your bricks in the front. We'll do Prasarita Padottanasana. Hands to the hip. So when you're standing, the heel light up with the edge of your mat. And either step or jump your feet apart. Spread the leg wide. Prasarita means spreading, expansion, extension. So that outer foot, you see that your heel and the little toe are lined up. And press the outer foot down. Use your hand here, touch right here the inside of the thighs, and now come up. So that area, the inner knee, you have to lift up through your hip and stretch from the inside of the thighs towards the outer thigh. Maintain that and outer calf region right here have to move in. So you bring stability of your pelvis. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. So that from the inner leg stretch out while your outer calf hug in. Now with your hands on the top buttock, move the top buttock down, roll the shoulders back, arch back and move the middle buttocks forward to open up the hip. Almost like you're looking backward with the heart. Go backward, open up front hip and come forward, extend the chest forward and place your hand down, the palms fully down and look forward. So press down with your hand, lift the chest up, so the top of the thigh stretch back. Maintain that, roll the upper arm out and extend the sternum more forward. Lift the head up and take the head, almost go back towards the tailbone. Lift up, lift the throat up, that you're able to have your eyes see opposite corner of the room. See with the eyes of your consciousness, which has come from the center of your heart. Maintain that on the exhalation. Bring your hands back. For those who don't need the bricks, bring your hands down to the ground and release the crown of the head down. So that prasarita padottanasana. And with the crown of the head support on the floor, like you do Tadasan, press the outer foot down, but don't push the outer skin of your ankle. The skin has to be soft. Like Mr. Ayenga mentioned, when you keep your skin soft, your eyes, your face, your jaw, all the eyes, organs of senses, soft in asana, you're able to look inward towards the center of your heart. Eyes relax. Throat relax. Inhale, look forward. Walk your hands forward. Walk your feet a few steps in. Bring your hands to the hip and lift the chest to come up and come to Tadasana. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to show you with the sitting pose with the arm position. So this is called Virasana. So I have one bricks here that support for my ankle to the side and I roll my calf out and my inside of the thighs up. We're going to do a few series of the arm to help open the chest before we do inversion. So the first one is Garudasana. So that I have my arm wrapping. And when the forearm wrapping, come from the back. See my back? So this part, when I'm wrapping, the part of this is called, right here, the camera can see. <laughs> this one is scapular. Right, this part. So you can see here. See this part, right? The muscle behind here is called rhomboid. When we're going into Garudasana, the rhomboid here gets spread. And what I'm doing is I squeeze my forearm. You see my top shoulder? It's go down or go up? Go down. 
you don't want to let them come up. So when I squeeze my forearm, I release my shoulder down, so my shoulder blade spread, but firmness here. So we do a few times. Then the second one is with the hands behind. This one is called Pashimana Maskarasan, and the arms going back and roll this upper arm. So that is opposite direction. Rhomboid, spread, and now arm behind, so the inner upper arm roll back. In the Yoga Sutra of Patanjali, yogi have to learn cultivate opposite direction of negativity. <laughs> if you feel down, depressed, and go down, what do you have to cultivate? Sink in and sad? No. You have to learn cultivate to uplifting, spread, expand. But if you're overexcited, what are you going to do? It's just going to be all over. You have to learn to relax, breathe, cultivate quietness. So all these yoga poses have opposite direction for us, twisting and turning. And then the last one we do Komukhasana, which is this hand will go behind the upper arm back, and this go up in this direction. Okay, so let's do that. You're facing me to Virasan. It's called arm series, so that in seated position, come to Virasan. If you're tighter in the ankle, you can put the bricks up higher as well, so there's no pressure in the knee. So you roll the calf out, have your heel on the outside of your hip, and toes spread, and pull the skin of your knee up. You saw I'm doing with the inside of the thigh, right? So you lift the inner thighs up and the calf down. So that opposite direction as well. Pratipaksha bhavanam, cultivate positivity out of negativity. The world need it now. 3,000 year, Patanjali, it's always everyday life, isn't it? Now, the sitting bone, use your hand here, ground the sitting bone down towards the floor and lift up through your chest and roll the shoulder back. Garudasana, eagle pose, stretch your arm, turn the palms up. See here, Rosa, when you lift up, you tend to move your hand back this way. It's put tension in the shoulder, put your hand down. Everyone, roll the shoulders back. And when you stretch your arms out, maintain the arm and the shoulder and the wrist equal. You feel the difference? There's no sensation in the ligament. Yeah. Lift the sternum up. Now bend the elbow in front of you. Bring your right arm on top and left arm underneath and wrap them around. Garudasana. Maintain the elbow lined up with the shoulder. Eyes relaxed, look straight forward. And when you're squeezing your forearm towards one another, descend the top shoulder down. It's called inner deltoid, go down to the outer deltoid. And this muscle is very important because this area of the shoulder that release down, but it's spreading the rhomboid region, which is behind the shoulder blade. It's spreading there. Eyes relax. Throat relax. And now, inhale to release your arm. Exhale, left arm on the top. The bird, as eagle, the eyes is sharp. The focus and the concentration. Squeeze the forearm firmly. Relax from the inner deltoid. Go down to the outer deltoid. And relax the shoulders down while you're spreading the shoulder blade. And exhale, release. Pashimana Maskarasan. Lean forward slightly. Turn your palms down and bring your hands behind. Slide the little fingers up. Walk your hands up. And for those not able to put your hand together like this, you can hold the wrist and roll the upper arm back. This is called bandha, which means bow. Mani bandha. It's bow with your wrist and the hand. Walk your hands up. 
walk the little fingers up and roll the inner upper arm back. So now your deltoid rolling from the inside to the outside and broaden the chest, broaden the collarbone, keep the side of the neck long. See one side, the shoulder blade sticking out more than the other side, which means underneath your shoulder blade is you need to cultivate of that. It's subscapula here. Mm -hmm. Spread them. So cultivate the bottom tip shoulder blade move in. And yes, this pose, you have to work with your wrist, isn't it? You work with the shoulders, we work with the chest. And when your hand behind here, lift the sternum and broaden, opening up the center of your lung. Which is, Rosa have a beautiful t-shirt that Om Sai. The top t-shirt right here is the top lung. This is right top lung, spread and open. The middle part of your lung, it's connect right at the center of the sternum, which is the heart chakra, which is love, compassion, acceptance. And the lower part of that t-shirt, it go towards your solar plexus, which is emotional. So that spread and lengthen. And exhale, release, stretch your fingers down. Roll the shoulders back, relax. Don't shake your hand if you feel sensitized, sensitive there. Let the blood flow go down. Stretch your left arm out. Exhale, bring your hand behind. You can use your right hand here, slide them up. Go up, but such a way that the inner left arm roll to the outer arm, similar like Pashima, isn't it? Now, Gomukhasana, reach your arm up, roll your tricep in, and bend the elbow. So this is called Gomukhasana, cow face pose. Roll your tricep in, lift up through the inner arm. Now, bring awareness to your buttock bone again. Descend both buttock bone down and ascending the trunk up. Eyes and throat soft. Right here that Sandra, you can see this, wants to go out, right? Mm -hmm. That's called tricep. See if you can move your tricep in and release the inner shoulder down. And then release your arm, relax the shoulder, roll the arm back. Now your right arm out to the side, turn the palms up, inhale, exhale, bring your hand down, walk your hand with your left side. You walk your right hand further towards the left side, it's allow the upper arm can go up higher and roll them out. Then maintain that inner deltoid of the right side. Roll to the outer deltoid and lift your left arm up. And right here, tricep move in and bend your elbow so that you're able to hook with your arm. And if you're not able to hook, it's okay. Don't try to pull them. The work is keep the trunk equal and roll the inner upper arm back and create space right here. And the top hand can go down and it's reach right there. Yeah. Wow. That's great. So you see how three series of the arm that with the extension, Garudasana, Parvatasana, Pashimanamaskarasana, all those helping Gomukhasana and exhale slowly, release your hand, relax them back. Great, now let's put the bricks to the side. I'm going to demonstrate Shashasana. So if you not do Shashasana, you can use the rope right here. For those at home that watching the video that you not do headstand, you can have a choice of doing the Prasarita Padottanasana, which is what um, we did the previous pose like this. And then you go forward and release the head down. So we're going to do in the middle right here. 
Enrique, you can come right here in the front. You can use my spot. Rosa, which one are you going to do? I'm going to use the wall. OK, yeah, so you can come to the wall here. And Robin, you can come next to Enrique. I'm going to use this for a moment. Yeah. yeah. So you can come watch here too. So this one that we did go mukasana with this top arm. And I emphasize you to have outer tricep to move in this way. And that's where your shirshasana have to control. Um, you can come to the, the front here. This part, when I press my wrist here, so that when the measurement, my elbow and the shoulder light up, see how my skin that I interlock, this part of my inner upper arm have to move towards me. So you cannot let the elbow to push out. Can you see that part? Yeah. So that if you let this, the shoulder going down. So Gomukhasana have to remain. Then, first I come up, the wrist press down, when I walk in, I undisturb my shoulder. Isn't my shoulder light up with the elbow, Robin? Yeah. yeah. So not to let go forward, to keep right here. And then the crown of the head down, the hand into the head, and the head into the hand. And today we come in with bent leg, shoulders up. Remember how we do virasana, the leg is bent. And when I come up, the shoulders lift up and maintain the shoulders up and move the middle buttocks deep in, deep in, while the knees go up. And when I'm in up here, roll the thighs in and extend from the inside of the leg, like Shasana in Tadasana, it's opposite direction. Maintain the shoulders up. When I come down and rest. Okay. Here, Enrique, come here. Rosa, you're going to do against the wall. Let's do right here. And Sandra, do on the rope. Okay. Yeah. So you interlock the finger. Salambar so Shasana is head balance. It's also mean the king pose. The father pose, very strong. So the wrist press down, lift the head up first. So two of you come at the same time, three of you. Press your thumbs to index finger to press your wrist. And walk in and release the crown of the head down while you remain the shoulders up. The inner deltoid lift up and the outer tricep move in. Upper back region, like you have Paschimanamaskarasan behind your back. Remember how we do training of upper back? Then bend your leg and then slowly come up. When you point your toes down to the buttocks, except Rosa, you can slide your foot up. Move the middle buttocks in. Maintain the shoulders up, then straighten the calf to straighten the leg to go upward. Spread your toes, roll the thighs strongly in, and lift up through the inside of the leg. Roll the thighs in. And now, with your weight on the middle of your forearm, press down, lift the inner shoulders up and take from the front chest back more, Robin. So the front chest move to the back chest, that's good. And lift up through your leg. Move your leg back a little bit, that's it. And for Enrique, move your thighs back slightly and stretch up. I'm going to do with you facing you for a few minutes. So Shirshasana, 
It's a king pose. It's a father pose. So the outside is very strong. So that press your wrist, and the outer shoulder have to lift up firmly. And the inside of the body is soft. So the throat is soft. The eyes is soft. And when you roll the thighs in, extend from the inner leg upward and bring the firmness of your ankle and outer ankle lengthening towards the outer hips, and have a firmness of the leg extend. The outer hip strong, the middle buttocks extend firmly, and remain that extension. Elongate the trunk, elongate the torso towards your leg. To come down, bend your leg. Remain the shoulders up. Slowly bring your knees to come down. And when you come down, come into downward facing dog pose, and stretch your arms and the leg. And walk forward to Uttanasana. And come up. Now let's put the mat against the wall. Remove the bricks to the side. Come to the white wall. We do one refreshing Adha Mukha Rikshasana. So Sandra, you bring the chair with you. Refreshing after headstand. <laughs> You can move more over Should here. I use this one? You can come here. You can use Robin's spot. Robin, you can use my spot. Right here. So this is for if you not do forearm balance, the chair will be for the feet. The hands turn out slightly and the ball of the foot press down and lift up. So you relax the neck. And for Sandra, when you come down, sit on the chair. Relax, okay? And now this one that when you have here, why I say refreshing? <laughs> After headstand. Because when your previous pose, your head touching on the ground, right? Your elbow pressing, your shoulders lengthening in the bend position. Now, the arm extend fully, your neck completely relax. So you have to get the leg extend, the armpit extend, which is opposite from this. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So the muscle right here get contract. From the beginning of poses that you do headstand, you hold it with muscular action. You have to get strong. But while you hold the... <laughs> Rosa, look at the face. Look, in the Shashasana, then the longer you practice, you hold it with stability bone connect to the bone and the skin soft so you don't hold muscularly so i'll help you to go up if you need to go <laughs> usually i don't use much bolster but you can use bolster for mental support you want to use it you <laughs> all right so you go put your hands turn out to the side and go up we go twice so the hands slightly away come in adha mukha and bring your legs up yeah, so when you swing up the feet to the wall and follow the other leg to the wall. Roll the thighs in and press down to the hand. Relax the neck. See if you can even turn the head, relaxing. So that the refreshing of elongate and stretch up through the arm. Robin, look towards your abdomen and lift from the front rib region right here. Go upward, go upward and lift the middle buttocks up. And then come down to Uttanasana. You feel refreshing, Rosa? Very refreshing. Very refreshing. Great. Very refreshing. Second side. Robin and Rike, you can do same leg or second leg. The hands go forward. Rosa, work again. One more time. <laughs> Adha Mukha Rikshasana is great. Confidence, release the fear. And one, two, three, up. There you go. Roll the thighs in. Lock into your elbow. Is the second leg, Enrique? Yeah. 
Go up. And now, when you draw your legs together, look up to your abdomen. Lift the abdomen in and up. And Robin, move your upper back away from the wall. Upper back away from the wall. And go upward to the heels. And bend your legs, both legs. Ah, oh, you straighten. it. Okay. And then come down. And come up. Okay, get a chair. Sandra already have a chair. <laughs> you see, it's changing your whole sensation. It's like, oh. Move the mat a little bit away from the chair, from the wall. So you can move the mat for him. You're going to get nothing. Dweepada Viparita Dandasan. Dwi is two. Pada is two leg, two feet. So that I move off from the chair slightly, lift the chest up, and right first, my top shoulder on the chair, and I slowly slide down to the middle and to the bottom chest. Can you all see from there? This is called lower lung area. That's where you're floating ribs, the front ribs area that you're breathing. Rosa, you see your t-shirt? Yeah. The middle part is the middle lung. And the top part is the top lung. So three area. Dwi Pada, you get exposed to opening. Now the hands inside. You see my hand? If I put my hand up high, can you see my shoulder? It's up or down? Up. When I move my hand further down, I roll my upper arm out. You see how my chest get more open? Yeah. yeah. Then I extend the leg. Press the thighs and firmness with the leg so my chest open. This is Dwi Pada Vipri Dandasan. First version. Second version here. I have a support. I move a little bit more towards my feet so my upper back, my buttocks support two plates. That's a heavy place. So I'm able to stretch my arm over the head and hold the elbow. So the bada has dasan. Open my armpit, breathe in this area. You can also hook the thumb, stretch. The last one is bending. I scoot further down, opening up and breathe into the lower part of the lung. And I'm relaxed right here. Trolls relax. To come up, you have to use your leg. I press the feet firmly down. I press my elbow. See how I get momentum? Then the last one is my head as I come up and relax there. Dwipada, Viparita Dandasan. Now, who those? Um, you see how I don't use the mat, the mat, the chair, on the chair? Usually, I like able to slide. But if you feel you need the grip, you can use sticky mat. You can use small sticky mat as well. Okay? Uh, I prefer you to use small sticky mat so that you can feel. What if they don't get a chair? If you don't have a chair at home, buy the chair. <laughs> first, first <laughs> you can use the sofa at home. One day you have to come to my home so I can show the home practice. Yeah, right. So that the sofa have a couch, you know, at the edge, so that you're able to support there. So you see how Sandra using this, so you can get the edge firm. First, move the buttock slide off from the chair, feet hip width apart and toes in. And then press your elbow, lift the chest and arch back to lie down, but scoot the body more off from the chair. First, you come higher to the top of the shoulder. Go towards your feet more. So that you get caught of the inner shoulder on the chair. And scoot slowly. Push the hand on the chair. Then don't be hurry. Put the hands right away. Stay. Life is too far, uh, the fast. So you don't want to get in too fast. Now, when you get the top shoulder in the edge of the chair, then go slowly further towards the middle chair and feel the middle shoulder blade open and breathe. And now scoot further to the bottom tip. 
So each part of your lung have time to expand, to extend. Then when you have a good grip, bring your arms inside the chair. You saw I put my hand. If it's too high towards the hip, bend the leg for a moment, Rosa. Observe the shoulder, roll them out. But if you move your hands further down, the further distance of your arm, it creates space of the armpit. You have a bar behind. If you're able to turn your palms up, it's even better for the arm to open. Maintain that extension, lengthen the buttocks to the heel and straighten the leg there. Dwi Pada Viparita Dandasan. Roll the thighs in and press down of your thighs towards the ground, towards the floor, the toes pointing up, the top hip released down, while from the abdomen lengthen towards your chest. You relax your throat, opening up into the throat region. We read about chakra today, that the fourth chakra, which is the heart and the lung, which is the whole world facing, that everyone wants to get the immune system, everyone wants to have healthy lung, but emotion of the lung and the heart, it's love, compassion, generosity. So it's no greed. That's from the Gita, Bhagavad Gita. We choose the trait of divine trait or demonic trait. So when we're choosing divine trait, generosity, giving, love, expansion, compassion, let's make the world better. Now bend your knees, keep your feet hip width apart, pause. Take your arms out one at a time. You scoot more towards your feet, so your upper back and your buttocks in the heavy place on the chair. Then when you press your feet firm, then you stretch your arms over your head and hold to your elbow. Hold your arm so that you have heavy place support. This is too far down. So you see if you move a little bit more, you will get the great grip. Then when you hold the elbow, see how your armpit get open? Yeah, Robin too, if you move a little bit towards your feet, just a little bit. And the chair support right behind the upper back, roll the thighs in, tricep in, and feel that the sternum opening, pump the upper arm down while the chest lift. Breathe there. That's great, Rosa. That's the head relax, the upper back relax. Good, Enrique. Chain your arm crossing, opening up. Press your feet down, turn your toes in and the heels out. And if you feel confidence in that, you can straighten the leg as well. Stretch your legs down towards the floor. And extend through your upper back. Yes, you can move a little bit more towards your head, Robin. Then if you're able to hook with your thumb, stretch your arms over, extend through your arm, extend through your chest and breathe. Opposite direction, we're talking about that today, Pratipaksha, Bhavanam. Cultivate opposite direction, legs extend to the heel. From your hips, extend through the arm, open up the armpit region. Change your thumb, hooking. Breathe, relax in your jaw, your teeth, your tongue. Then bend your elbow to the chair, bend your knees. Scoot just a little bit towards your head and if you relax your arms, just relax to the side, bend the elbow, relax, yeah, further up so that you can relax here. Oh, it's tight here. So you relax and breathe from the armpit. If your hands touching the floor, it's good. 
Let the hands relax over the head, Rosa, if you can. Yeah, like that. Let the back of the knuckle release down. You see how today, Robin, if the hands away from the floor, <laughs> how many inches? Then you practice almost every day. Then the armpit is slowly open. Then bend your elbow to the chair. You press your elbow, have a few momentum. Press your feet, lift up halfway and pause. Lift from the sternum. This is shrinking the sternum. Press the elbow, lift from here as you come up. Yeah. And bring your hands cross over, relax the neck. Relax your head down. Put your hands all the way. Release your back down. And then sit slowly, sit up, and sit further back a little bit more. So the heel inside the edge of the chair. Yeah. So we do Bharat Vajasan. Push the inner edge of the thighs towards the outer chair, the outer edge of the chair. Keep the legs firm, keep the hips equal and stable. Reach your arm up. And exhale, turn to your right side. Enrique, I'm going to add you the sticky mat, so you sit up higher. The taller person need to sit up higher so that your hips and your pelvis equal. After back bend, you turn, twist. Keep your face and the sternum light up and turn your abdomen and the chest. Back to center, stretch your arms up. Exhale, turn to the left side. So like what Robin asking, if I don't have a chair at home, you can also use dining table, the chair that you are for dining table. So the, you can use that or the office chair, but make sure it's not turning with that. Otherwise it's sliding. <laughs> In toilet paper, stretch your arms up. Hi, uh, America, turn to the right side. <laughs> Lift the chest up, turn the lower chest, turn the middle chest, turn the top chest so that we actually releasing and give the mobility in the lung. Lift the shin up and then exhale, release, stretch up and exhale, turn to the other side. Press your feet down. So the outer ankle push into the chair. And also the outer thighs press into the chair that stabilize your pelvis. Can you feel Rosa? Yeah. yeah, so that keep that stability as you turn. Key point of twisting, the navel move into the spine. And when your navel move in without pushing the pelvis, so it allow the back can get length, then you can have a proper turn. And then release. Shoulder balance, you get the blue form. At home, if you don't have a blue form, you use blankets or you lie down on the floor to bring the leg up. Sandra, you do chair savangasana, mm -hmm. right? Yes, you can use the bolster. So this one, I put the chair right here for the feet. You had home, you're using blanket, three, four blanket for your shoulder balance. For today, we're using this. So that when I reach my hand there, my foot will be right here. So the shoulder support. So Guruji's create the support here so that you don't push the back of the neck down to the floor, especially cervical spine, C7. Does everyone see me? Do you remember you do Dui Pada? You practice the whole time. Inner deltoid, go which way, Rosa? Out. Go to the outer deltoid. And we lift the hips. This is like Jadush Padasan. Then from here, I swing the feet over. Right away, I roll my upper arm out. Keep the shoulders on the edge. And bring the hands on the back and pull the skin up. And I use the chair for support so my leg can lengthen, my thighs can lengthen.
and Salambar Savangasan. Pull the skin of the back up and the inner leg. The buttocks move in and extend up. Shirshasana is a father pose. Strong from the outside, soft in the inside. Savangasana, strong from the inside. So the inner leg, the inner body have to go up. But they're soft from the outside. And then come down. Is it just like our mother and father? <laughs> Your dad's so strong. But she's so soft. <laughs> Your mom so soft, but she's strong inside, isn't it? <laughs> yes. yes. So shoulder, Sandra, let's do this. Put the chair this way so your head can be towards the white wall like everyone. Oh, okay. Yeah. So first hold the edge of the mat. Roll the shoulders under, Jatush Padasan. Lift the buttocks up, lift the hips, lift the buttocks. Jatush Padasan. Get the inner deltoid to the outer deltoid and lift the middle buttocks up, lift the chest up. Then come down, place your hand underneath the buttocks and swing your feet on the chair for Halasan. So you move down a little bit. Move towards your, because you're too far. Just a little bit, yeah. And then when you bring your feet on the chair, roll the shoulders under, roll the inner upper arm to the outer upper arm, and walk your hands down to your upper back. Robin, be aware, your left shoulder tend to pull too far. So you uneven a little bit. So you have to keep, yeah, right here. Walk your hands down to your upper back. Stay there first, halasan. Press down with your elbow, press down with the outer shoulder and lift the skin of your back. Maintain the upper back lengthen. Lengthen your buttocks to the heels more so that you're in the plow pose. So lengthen your buttocks, walk your feet further away from your head, walk your feet further so that you're able to go, go further down. Can you feel, Rosa? So that you'll bring your hands lower. Now keep it. Press your elbow firmly down and then bring one leg up. Shift the weight towards the elbow and lift the other one up. Salamba Savangasana. Supportive the whole body. Shoulder balance. Shift the weight towards your elbow and press down with the outer upper arm. Press down with the outer shoulder, but lift up through the inner leg. So you have to work both parts of the body together. Walk your hands down to your back and move the skin of your back body to go up. Roll the thighs strongly in. When your thighs rolling in, your sacrum can spread. Your back will not clenching. Roll the thighs in and lift up through your inner leg. For Sandra that's using the chair, that's great for the neck, lift up. So that makes sure the head support, the neck support properly. It's okay here? Yes, thank you. And you have the elongation. Sandra, you can come into Viparita Karani, the legs perpendicular to the floor. Throat soft, eyes soft. And you're getting the Jalandara Bandha because the shin lock, the, the throat lock is the first lock of the energy lock of yogi. And when the troth is locked, the seeping of the air and vital energy that goes slowly from the nose travel to your lungs area. And now your lung is upside down, your heart 
It's upside down. It's strengthening and built the strength in the nervous system. The nervous system is brain, spinal cord region. In the yogic practice called the center of Sushumna, the center of your spine and balance between left side of your body, right side of your body, Ida and Pinkala energy. Now to come down, bring one leg at a time to the chair, to Halasan. If you have belt, you take the belt out first and then bend the knees towards the ears. Slowly come down, roll your back to come down. And scoot towards your head and wait there. And roll to your right side. Pashimottanasan. Sit on the edge of the foam and straight the leg towards the chair. And lengthen the chest forward and bring your hand towards the chair. And you can rest towards the chair. There. Get the chair here. Get your back long and extend. So your head elongate and resting towards the chair and press down to your thighs have the firmness of your leg and if you're able to go full Pashimottanasan push the chair further away but keep your back long or you can also turn this way Rosa Let's help your back the back hands right here, the bar, and extend forward and lengthening the head down. So you get, yeah, this is good. Your back long. This is good after Dwipada, Rosa, and working all that extension. Eyes relaxed, throat relaxed. You can rest your forehead here. So you have a support after Shirsha uh, Savangasana. Here, Rosa. Enrique. So that you can use blanket, foam to quiet in the brain area. This is called Pashimottanasan. Forward extension. And slowly come up. Let's put the chair away, foam pad away, everything away. Come back to Shavasana. We also have a video about Shavasana. So you can follow us with that. Now, when you remove everything back, come back to lie down, the head towards the rope wall, the feet towards the white wall. And center yourself to lie down flat on your back. To lie down on your back, center yourself that your feet your knees and your hips are lined up and lie down on your back. Roll your back down. First adjusting is bring your hand underneath the head and the neck. Lengthen the back of the neck away. So put your hand underneath the scalp and lengthen the back of the neck so your forehead release towards your heart. Bring your legs down towards the floor. You can bring your head down, Rosa. Elongate the skin of your back, your buttocks region towards your heel. And relax your leg, roll out to your side.
Use the hard sound, soft and passive. Smooth and steady. Inhalation and exhalation. From the beginning, you can use the deeper in-breath and relax with the out-breath. Let your eyes, your eyelid completely passive and let go. Let your lips, your upper lips, the bottom lips completely soft. Passivity in your eyes, the eyeball completely let go. Let the energy from the front body pacify to the back part of your body. And from your head, release down towards your feet. Let go and pass it. Smooth, steady, in breath, smooth, steady, out breath. 